I'm Nick. Welcome to Get Out and Wrench. Today we're working on my dad's Nissan Frontier. His transmission pan's leaking, so we're going to change that out and do a transmission service on it and get him back on the road. If you want to see more, more videos, check out the rest of the YouTube channel. Let's get Out and Wrench. And while you're there, hit that like and subscribe button. This was leaking around the drain plug, so we tried putting a new drain plug in it, and that actually made it worse. So, just put a whole pan on it. Maybe they said 10. I thought they said there were 14, so I'll see. You know, it's like, to me, it's like the guy did it and then he went back and redid it and made the video. Because <laughs> yes. everything came off so easy, you know? Well, a lot of people do stuff like that. Yeah. They're like, oh, I did this already, but I'm going to show you what I did. Yeah. But, I don't, like, that's just a waste of time. Yeah. Like, I'll, just, I'll just make my content while I'm doing what I'm doing. Because that's the whole point of my channel is, yeah, I'm always out working on something. I'm sure people like... You know, and it's like, that everything doesn't see, always go yeah. smooth. You know? Most of the stuff I work on doesn't go smooth. <laughs> like, all these bolts are rusty. Yeah. So I got a hammer. Should have got new bolts. They should be alright. Yeah, they'll be fine. He's got to hammer the socket on so you don't strip them. What? So I broke it. Bolt broke. Alright. That's the corner one. I'm gonna have to get one. What? I'll have to get one. And my socket's broken.
Okay, so we got all the bolts off all the way around, except for one in the back, one in the front. I'm gonna take this one off, I'm gonna let the pan hang, and then I'll take this one off and I'll lower the pan straight down. I'm trying not to, and I'm gonna try not to make a mess. that down that's good I'll pull the filter down next filter put that on the same way that it came off Take a note of where those went. <coughs> Alright, I guess the bolts are different lengths, so that's good. You just gotta take take note of where they come out of or you're gonna be playing which bolt goes there's two really long ones and then there's one two three four five six seven eight medium length ones and then there's three <coughs> short ones. And then there's three nuts. And the nuts go on to bolts that don't seem like they're in there from the top very well. Like they're just kind of there to clamp. So, yeah. Delicate process to get the nuts started, but those are all in there. For that, I gotta get a razor blade and scrape this, and then I gotta figure out how to get that bolt out. Okay, we got our old pan off. Let's see how nasty it was. Look how it was rusty and just crusty. We got our new pan. Tell it's a new. It's not all rusty and crusty, and it looks brand new. So the only thing we gotta do is we gotta swap our magnets over. So I'm gonna take those off, we'll clean them off with some brake clean and rag, and then I'll put them in and I'll get everything else set up. Okay, we got our new pan here. I don't know if you can see that. We got our new pan, we got our gasket on here, and I put the per Permatex Ultra Black on both sides of it. And I put a bunch extra in this corner here that 
has a broken bolt and we're just gonna put it together and hope that that seals. If not, we'll be revisiting this in the future. Just wanna do that. And you wanna make sure that your bolts are within reach when you put your pan up. Otherwise, you'll be fumbling around. Nut is tight. The drain nut's tight. Okay. All our bolts are tight. Okay. We got our sealant in the corner there, so hopefully that doesn't leak. And we should be good. We'll let the sealant set up for a while, and while we do that, we yeah, gotta we fix can... this exhaust. Yeah, we'll wait for yeah. We gotta fix that exhaust. If anybody knows where to go warranty your craftsman sockets now, do I just go to Lowe's? Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I need to fix this exhaust. It's got this hack welded in clamp holding it together. And this whole exhaust needs to be replaced, but we're just going to fix it for now. Just so the truck can be used. I got my piece of pipe here. I'm just gonna put that in. I'll probably cut this down. And then I got this little coupler. And then we're gonna cut it. Look good. Now comes the issue of getting this to fit. Oh, to get it on. Yeah. Without breaking the rest of the exhaust. Is that the other catalytic converter there? Yeah. I just need like a little bit more. Maybe you get some on this side. There you go. All right. Well, usually I like to use muffler cement on stuff like this, but I don't have any. Good and tight. This truck needs a truck needs a whole exhaust, well. but that's a bigger job. So we'll save that for another day. But we got the exhaust fixed. I'm gonna go up top and put the fluid in. We'll get off the ramps first, and then we'll put the fluid in, and we should be good to go. So for filling our trans, you got this down here. This bolt I already cracked it loose with the wrench, but hand tight 
Let me pull the bolt out of here. Dipstick, get that out of the way. Put it up, put it up out of the way. Don't put it <clears throat> across your battery terminals. I'll just pour it in and not spill it. Mm -hmm. So I'll just pour it like this. Okay. It's a hard angle for that. All right, so we put that one gallon in or yeah one one gallon uh, we're gonna check it cold the truck needs to be running so we'll check it cold see where it's at and then add fluid from there and adjust to the level and basically you got your hot on one side and your cold on the other side so we'll just check it with a running cold adjust the fluid go drive it around <clears throat> check it again hot and make sure that the level's good. So we got the truck started. It's cold right now. at the bottom so we need to add some more fluid gonna do it for this episode we got the transmission pan changed out uh, we got that one bolt that broke but we put some silicone on it it seems to be holding um, I fixed the exhaust fixed the exhaust and that seems to be good so we just got to add another quart of fluid to this and we'll go drive it around and my dad will be all set and he won't have to worry about the transmission anymore on this truck and yeah that's it i'm nick thanks for watching hit that like and subscribe button and remember get out and wrench <laughs>